DAOs are pretty popular right now and it seems like there's a big future for DAOs. So today we're going to go over just how to make them using Aragon. So a decentralized autonomous organization or DAO for short, if you're confused on exactly how it works, basically just to keep it simple for today's video, it's a company or organization that is not central based. It doesn't have a CEO or board of directors really that are able to make the biggest decisions. Those decisions are actually controlled by you, the token holders, and they are decided upon by a computer program, a software that's run and it allows you to vote yes or no on each decision that the DAO makes. But that doesn't mean that the DAO cannot all vote to have a board of directors. They can also vote to take those people off. So again, all the power is in the token holders. So moving on to Aragon.org, you don't need to know any code here. You can kind of think of this like the Shopify or the WordPress for building a DAO. In the description, guys, I have also dropped two blogs that I think are super helpful if you have any questions. So now to get started, we're going to click on create your DAO. If you click on open organization, this is where you go to log into your organization. So if you type in your organization name, you should get a green check mark to make sure that's good. And then you click on open. But since we're brand new or we're first making our DAO here, uh, we're going to have to click on uh, create organization. Before we go any further, guys, we're going to be using Rinkaby. But in the future, whenever you want to use a real network, just click on Rinkaby right here and then you can pick the network that you want to use. If you don't know what network, what blockchain you actually want to be working on, then I recommend you look up what are the four different kinds of blockchains? That way you understand what their use case is. Because for your project, you need to know what you, the purpose of your project will need. So in other words, you can pick the best blockchain depending on what kind of privacy or transparency settings you want. And that all kind of goes back down to the types of blockchain. So we won't get into that for today's video. We're just going to stick with the Rinkaby log into your MetaMask and then just select the Rinkaby test network. Once you're on a test network, connect your account, MetaMask, and then you should be good to go. Now we can click on create an organization. These are the different kind of templates that each one have a slightly different purpose, uh, but you can click on the details and you should be able to get a user guide for each one of them. Now we're going to uh, just go with the basic company one and we're going to add the agent in here just as well. Click on use this template. Now we get to name the organization. So I'm going to just type in the matrix and it's good to go. If it's not available, then it will not give you this green check. Click next. Now here guys is where you figure out what kind of voting power you will need for things to be approved. When you're good here, just click next. This is where you're going to pick a token name. And this is where you can create the initial supply. You will be able to add more tokens or mint more tokens. So just click on your MetaMask, click the account to copy it to the clipboard, and then drop that into the account address. And I'm just going to give myself 100,000. If you want to add a second address, then you can do that as well here. Click next. Now launching your organization is going to take some ETH, right? So we're on the test network. It's not real ETH. So to get this test ETH, it's actually really easy. Just go to rinkybfossa.com. Link is also in the description. Uh, it's powered by Alchemy. All you do is type in your address and then click on send me ETH. You'll get this cool little picture once it's done. If you log back into your MetaMask, you should see that you've received some test ETH. So I just received 0.5 ETH. You can close this out now, and that should give you enough test ETH to be able to launch and kind of do a lot on your organization. So click on launch organization. Now, if you notice here, it's gonna pop up the gas fee that we're talking about. Click on confirm. And this part can take a little bit, maybe like one to two, three minutes. Just give it time, it'll do its thing. And this is the first thing you should see. So you should be able to see assign tokens or vote. So let's just go down the line. Let's just go to assign tokens. For example, let's just say that I want to mint more tokens to add to the supply. We're gonna click on add tokens. Number of tokens, we're just gonna double it. So 100,000. And then we're gonna click on add tokens. But since this is a DAO, you can't just make these decisions on your own. They have to be voted upon, but there's only one person here. So we just have to create that vote. So this is what it's talking about here. And then you can create that transaction. No money, no real money is being spent here. Click on confirm. And this transaction should go straight to the voting section. Once that transaction comes through, you can go over to the voting tab. You can click on the vote and then say yes or no. So I'm just going to say yes. We're going to, again, we're going to create this transaction and then we're just going to approve it and confirm it. Give this a couple seconds to update and it should let you know when it's done. For example, here it says it was casted successfully. So now you can go back up to the tokens. And since everyone voted yes to the uh, approval of the token, you should see another transaction come through and now the balance has doubled since we added another hundred thousand tokens you can create any kind of vote you want down here for example click on new vote and type in should i get fired and then you can create that vote and it's the exact same process i won't do this so i won't waste you guys the time 
but you can go over to finance and you can create a transfer. So let's just say I want to deposit some ETH into this DAO 0.07. This is a deposit into the DAO. And then submit deposit. Since this was the deposit, you didn't need to vote on that because it's coming from your wallet into the DAO. If you go to the finance tab and you check the token balances, you should see this amount that we just sent in, which is equivalent to $104. And you should see all the transactions coming in through here. If you want to do a new transfer, then click on withdrawal. You can use the same ETH address you used, or you can use a different one. And now since we're doing a withdrawal, you need to also create that vote. So again, click on create transaction and it'll be the exact same process that we've been going through. As you can see, we have to vote on if we want to actually withdraw to this address or not. The last thing we go over guys is kind of just going over the system page down here. You can control and assign and manage different permissions for different actions. So if you come down here, you can click on manage role, update to whatever it is you want. You want to change the manager or move the manager, etc. And if you come down to the app center, these are the apps that you have installed so far. And then you can click on discover apps to install new app. If you click on these, it'll take you to the GitHub page where you can find all the instructions on how to implement it and how this all works. Lastly, on organizations, uh, this is the installed apps that we saw in the app center but we haven't talked about the agent. Now what the agent does is this allows the DAO to interact with other smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain. So if you want to send a token on the Ethereum network and have that token be staked, you would typically have to trust an individual with an address and have them send those tokens out. So what this does is it just gets rid of that third party person so you don't have to trust in them and let the DAO interact with other smart contracts. Now don't forget to check out those guides in the description. They're actually a lot of help. Uh, they'll help you out a ton if you just glance over them and read them. They can also answer a lot of your questions that you have hope you guys enjoyed this video drop a comment for me let me know what you guys think see you guys next time